<laughs> DT, Ty, Claude, Robbie, all that lot, your boys took one hell of a beating again. And though the second half was a non-event, again, we taught you what it looks like to be a big club these days. We were absolutely fantastic. We destroyed you. We taught you what it looks like to be a good club, a club with ideas, with focus, with zest, with ambition, with quality. This was a statement. This was brutal. This was sheer domination. That first 45 minutes was absolutely mesmeric. This was a gulf in quality between two teams who aren't even on the same level playing field at the moment. It was us stamping our authority, what are yesterday's boys, and there's absolutely nothing they can do about the moment. It's beautiful to watch a team this cohesive, this exciting, playing this football, this beautiful football, the stuff that we can only dream of. And you know what? I hope it hurt watching that for Arsenal. I hope it hurt for Wenger. I used to have a lot of respect for Arsenal as a football club. I used to enjoy their football. I used to appreciate what they brought to the table. Wenger was a good manager. Henri and Co were magnificent. They played beautiful, sumptuous, attacking football. But now, they're nothing like that at all. Wenger was young, he was full of ideas, he had dignity, he had class, he had quality. I used to like him quite a lot, but time does terrible things to good people sometimes. And Wenger's no exception there. He's become increasingly cynical, increasingly sniping. All these comments on the screen now... That's just from the last three months alone. Wenger cannot help but make a dig at Manchester City these days. He's grown bitter in his old age. And I've grown a massive dislike for him. This has been a thing that's been going on for years now, constantly calling a club, constantly being jealous, constantly belittling us. And it's such a shame to see a man with such grace fall so low. A man that used to pride himself on being ambitious and creative. A man that used to pride himself on enjoying good football. He can't even give us that anymore. He'd rather just moan. He'd rather just call and make snide digs. It's a shame to see such a great man fall so low. And that is why I enjoyed this victory and the Carabao Cup victory. Because we have stamped our authority again on a team that has grown to despise us. And I don't really care, I'm not going to lie. The old Arsenal that I used to appreciate, that I used to enjoy, they have long gone. And then you've got people like Wilshire absolutely embarrassing themselves on the pitch at the Wembley then after being even worse with the constant little digs yet again. I have no time for that. Uh, and I enjoyed this victory a lot. I enjoyed that we made them look stupid at times in that first half because we are a better team. And it just feels beautiful, doesn't it? We're just better. We're on a different playing field to them. And there's nothing they can do about it at all. Mentally, tactically, individually. We are better run. We are more motivated. We are more ambitious. We are more focused. We're just a better club these days. And yes, there is money involved in it. But that isn't everything. Sometimes ideas, progressive planning, focus, all these kind of attributes, hard work, a little self-respect, uh, introspective analysis, looking at where things go wrong. These things seem incapable for them. And this is why we are ahead of them these days. I remember back in 2003 going to the Etihad and watching Henri and co absolutely destroy us. I think it was like 4-0 after about 20 minutes that day. They ran rings around us. They were mesmeric. I remember being in awe of how good they were. That was a team that was special. And now we did that to them in that first half. We were Henri and co to them. We made them look like Richard Dunn at right back. We made them look pathetic. And it's funny how much the tables have turned these days. Obviously, money's got something to do with it. It's got a lot to do with it. But it isn't everything. And I... I am so blessed to be watching this Manchester City team be as good as they are. We are the real deal. We are now still 16 points clear. There is only 10 games left to play. We need five more wins to secure the league. We've got Chelsea at the weekend. We are one big game away, in my opinion, now for absolutely uh, eradicating any doubt that anyone has. We've won the league, in my opinion, already. It's just a matter of time. I know I'm trying to... I'm being ahead of myself there, but I just can't see us not winning five games out of ten. We probably need even less than that, because that presumes United win every single game. United won't win every single game. Uh, we probably need about four victories. It's, it's a hell of a season so far, and it's looking very, very positive. Individually, there were standout performances. That first half, Sani was absolutely majestic. He showed how good he can be on his day. Whatever Pep said after the Wigan game, well, it worked. He was on fire. All this kind of information leaked to the press about Pep giving him a rollicking against Wigan. Sarni in that first half was absolutely unplayable. He shows how good he could be. He's genuinely untouchable on that form. It's the close control, the movement, the pace, the ability to take three or four players out of the game. He was just absolutely sensational. Genuine world-class star in the making when he gets his head finally screwed on. And he's getting there. And he will get there under Pep. And he'll know himself how good he can actually be. I personally like that little bit of arrogance he's got. I like the fact that he knows he's good. Because the best players always do. I don't care if he's a bit feisty. All I know is that he 
can destroy teams when he turns up, and he did tonight. It was another beautiful goal from Bernardo Silva, a player growing into this team every single day, showing how good he is as an individual. His touch as well at times was absolutely sublime. And though De Bruyne and Silva weren't at their most magnificent best, I thought in general we controlled the midfield, apart from a 15-20 minute spell in the second half. The fears about Gundogan stepping in for Fernandinho proved unfounded. I thought he's probably the best of the midfield for even being honest. Maybe not as confident defensively as Fernandinho, but then again, who would expect him to be? But going forward, I thought he was very good. He was very positive. His touch was good. His distribution of the ball was largely excellent. Uh, and he was a very good team performance. Edison, once again, what more can be said about him? He's a freak. When we need him, he pretty much always comes good. But that is Edison for you. And that is why I love him. Yeah, there's the odd moment where he'll clatter through Otamendi and take him out. But then the penalty save and a few very good saves as well. He just comes up good when it most matters, as the best keepers always do. Edison is a freak and I'm so glad he's ours. I wasn't surprised Arsenal had a small spell. There was always going to be a reaction after the weekend, given the fact that they were at home, given the fact that the crowd wanted to get uh, something there. Well, the crowd that did turn up anyway. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I'm not one for empty seats, but I had to make uh, Never mind anyway. But given the fact that uh, after the cup final, uh, they were always going to have a few chances here and there. Arsenal, are, you know, they're a good team. They will make chances at home. But they just didn't have the individual quality to get through us. And I'm not surprised they had a spell here and there. But largely, we were the better team by a long, long way. It was also a surprise appearance for Yaya, which uh, which was interesting after the press conference where Pep implied that there was some problems there. I guess they might have had a word, but it was nice to see him back on the pitch, though I much would rather see Phil Foden. But I guess we're just playing out Yaya's career now. But for me, every minute that Phil Foden can get on the pitch is preferable, but just so be it. That's just how it is. But we won again, and we're looking comfortable. Our goal difference now is three more than United's points in second place. We are absolutely running away with this league. We are on another level to this team. And I'm just blessed to witness it. Guys, that was a hell of a night. I know the second half was a little bit quiet, but that first half was just special. It was the kind of stuff that the travelling fans that made their way to London and fair fucks to you guys. That was a hell of a commitment from you in this weather, this horrible cold weather. And given the game that we just played, to be that good for 45 minutes, it's just special. This team is special and it's our team and it feels good, doesn't it? Guys, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, drop a like on this video. Get in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on the game and I will see you next time.